Now I'm going to make some fudgy Kringle cookies. The reason they're called fudgy is because you actually put in pieces of fudge. Now you can make your own, but you can do what I do and just go to the store. I bought this small package. This is seven ounce package of fudge. The recipe, a single recipe calls for three ounces. I'm going to be bold and put in three and a half ounces. So I'm going to cut this in half and I'll save this other half for another recipe. And what I need to do now is cut it into small pieces. So slice it and then make little pieces. Mmm, the fudge smells delicious. Now, this is a what they call panucci fudge, sort of a vanilla fudge. You can use this flavor or you can you can buy peanut butter fudge, you can buy chocolate fudge, any flavor you want in this recipe. Okay. There's our fudge. I'm going to put that aside for the moment. And now we're going to work on our mixer. I have here two cups of flour and I mixed in a half a teaspoon of baking soda. That's going to be our dry. Start off with one stick of soft butter. Get that going in the mixer. has a very strong smell. It smells delicious. I really want to eat a piece, but I'll wait till later. And now I'm going to add to the butter a half a cup of light brown sugar. And let that cream up. I have my homemade vanilla here. And I'm going to add a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a quarter. Now to this, I'm going to add one egg. Let that blend up well. I like to scrape down the sides. Make sure everything's getting mixed together. And right now I'm going to add all of the flour, well, half of the flour. Sometimes I get bold and I do the whole thing at once. Yes. You get it better blended if you do it in sections. Now we're going to add the rest of the flour. Along with our fudge pieces. I just like to separate them a little so they don't stick together too much. Oh, I wish you could smell it. And then this dough, after it's done, will go in the refrigerator and sit for, well, no, we're going to roll it into a log. So we're going to roll it into a log and then we're going to refrigerate it. So get everything off the paddle. Get a little bit of flour here. Lightly flour, we don't want too much flour on here. And I want it approximately nine inches long. Another great tool in the kitchen, and that's nine inches long. But I want to round it up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in plastic wrap. This is going in the refrigerator for an hour, and then later on we'll slice and bake them. 
So I'm going to go get my plastic wrap and put this in the refrigerator. Now we're ready to cut our fudgy Kringles, which have been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And the first thing I need to do is take it out of its plastic wrap. Okay. Got a nice cold log here. And I'm going to cut this in 20 pieces. So I'm going to cut it in half. And then hopefully I'll get 20 slices. My oven is on at 375. And these are going to cook about 10 minutes. And there's really no big adornment for these cookies later on. I suppose you could frost them if you want to. I'm going to do something very simple. I'm just going to dust them with confectioner sugar. Shave that one a little bit. I'm going to get this first batch in the oven for 10 minutes and then I'll get this next batch for the second 10 minutes after these come out. Our fudgy kringles are out of the oven and they've cooled off. I've only got some of them over here because I'm going to freeze the rest of them. But these cookies don't need much. You can take a look at them and you can see pockets of the fudge all over the place. They're going to be really good when you bite into them. They'll be a surprise for your guests. The only thing they need for adornment is a little bit of powdered sugar. Just like snow on these Christmas cookies. And those are our fudgy crinkles. I hope you enjoy them.